I have chosen that my alignment is supposed to go west of this major building, a major farm in the middle. So this is what I'm going to try to sketch now. I'll start up here in the northern end where I need to put in a radius to get around the church. I'll just try my way ahead and see if I can find a radius that, that suits this particular situation. So fill it, R, and 300 just to see. Bit too small, I, I'm still close to the church area. Four hundred. It's better. I'm almost in the middle of the road now. This is probably what I'm going to try to aim at when I get here with my calculation. Then I need to go around the farm. And preferably have an almost perpendicular crossing of the small stream. I will put in a radius down here, see how big it can be. Now it says that the, the two lines were not coplanar, and that's because I have, when I drew this line, <coughs> I connected to the center of the roundabout, and there are apparently there are some set coordinates. So if I look at this line, see that it has a set value in one of the ends. So this means that I cannot fill it, I cannot offset, I can't really do anything with it. So I need to move it so that it will be coplanar with the XY coordinate system, removing the set coordinate. To do this, I right click and choose properties, and I'll just change the set value to zero like this and then try to list it once again and we can now see that it's zero and zero I should now be able to fill it with the other line that I made like that and well it's kind of a small radius maybe I could put in a bigger one So, and to connect with the road around the church. Now I have a, a, a very large straight line here around the, uh, the farm. Uh, maybe I will put in a large radius instead when I do my actual calculation, but we'll see. Anyway, now I have a template to use for my calculation. Just just some uh, sort of a background that I can follow when I create my calculated alignment. The calculated alignment is found in road and then the motorway 